So every guy should know how to cook a steak. But we all don't have a grill, so I'm going to show you how to cook a steak in a pan. Whether you have a stove or a hot plate, you have no excuse not to be able to make one. So to make a basic steak, all you need is the steak, salt, and pepper. But I'm not satisfied with basics, so we're going to take this steak and we're going to do something extra. Stick around guys, I'm going to share with you my secret recipe. Hi, I'm Andres Perez and this is Be A Man, where I teach you everything you should know, not only to be a competent man, but a confident man. If saving money by learning to do things yourself is something you're interested in, make sure you sign in and hit that subscribe button so those kind of videos can go straight to your notification. Steaks. When people hear that, they usually think about two things, expensive and delicious. Now it's not necessarily always so. If you don't know what you're doing, that steak is not going to taste good. I know I've gone to restaurants where I spent some good money, but I was quite disappointed. But on the flip side, it doesn't have to be expensive either. If you know how to do it yourself, you can definitely save some money. Now the worst thing you can do to a steak is overcook it. So when you're cooking steak, you want it to have some pink in the middle. How do you know if it's ready? Well, you can definitely take the, the temperature of it, but most of us don't have those food thermometers to be checking all that. So I'm, let me show you a quick little trick. If you take your fingers and put them together, like so, and you press right here, this is still rare. You don't want to eat that yet. If you put these together, it's going to be, this is still going to be pretty good. It's going to taste good. Or you can even go here. Now if you are putting these two together and it feels hard like that, it's overdone man. You might as well just throw it away. So you want to stick to one of these depending on your taste. Now there's also grades of meat but I'm going to leave that till the end of the video so stick around for that. Alright guys go ahead and wash your hands and meet me in the kitchen. I'm going to share with you my secret recipe that I created by putting together some different elements of other recipes. Okay what you're going to need is the steak, the salt and pepper, but also we're gonna need mustard and the Italian seasoning. It may sound a little weird, but trust me, it's gonna be good. So the first thing you wanna do, you wanna take the mustard, put some on the steak, get a brush, and just evenly distribute it around the steak. After you do that, get the Italian seasoning and be generous with it. Put it all over the steak. After you have enough seasoning, get the black pepper, sprinkle some on there, and then sprinkle as much salt as you want. I like to press it all in there afterwards just to make sure none of it falls off and it keeps that layer. But once you're done with that, just flip over the steak and do it all over again. Now take your pan and put some cooking oil in it and lay the steak in. Now you're going to want to cook each side for 7 to 10 minutes depending on how you like your steak. So remember how I told you by checking how firm it is that you can tell where it's at? So this one it has a consistency about the, the middle finger worth. So you can eat it at this point, but I'm going to show you how it looks like inside so you have an idea where we're at. 
I'm gonna cut it a little early just so you know. It still has a lot of pink inside. Again, you can eat it and if that's the way you like it, by all means go ahead. It's ready for you. But now this is the way I like it. I like it to have a small pink strip in the middle. After you're done cooking it, put it on the plate, slice it up, and enjoy. Mm -mm. Okay guys, so what I want you to do is go down to the comments and tell me how was it. If you did it well, it should be crispy on the outside and tender on the inside. I definitely want to know what others think about my recipe. Now if you're making a steak to impress that sexy mamacita, then you want to buy the best you can afford. So there are quite a few different grades of meat, uh, eight if I'm not mistaken, but you only need to know three. That's prime, choice, and select. So select is going to be the lesser in quality of the three. It's going to be leaner meat, um, so that means it has less fat but it also means it has less flavor. More than likely this is what you've been eating. Uh, restaurants typically aren't going to give you the best of the best. Next is choice. Choice is going to be a higher quality. It's going to have a little more marbling in the meat which means it's that fat that kind of looks like veins going through it. Prime is going to be the most tender and the most flavorful one. And if you can afford it, that's what you want to shoot for. Now if you like this video Hit that like button so I know to make more like this. And go ahead and share with your friends and family. That way they can make good steaks too.